Welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki of Nikki's Homemade Crafts. It is a combination of the Tunisian simple and full stitch and it creates this knit like texture and it's absolutely beautiful. The return pass is not a typical return pass which creates this gorgeous effect. So grab your hook and your yarn and let's get started. First make an even number and start with a normal foundation row. So this is the Tunisian simple stitch. So you just pull up a loop from each chain and then do the normal return pass. That is for the beginning, the foundation of the stitch. So that means the very first row is simply the Tunisian simple stitch. Now we're going to start with a Saloniki ripped stitch. So start with the Tunisian simple stitch in the very first stitch. So use this vertical bar right here, insert your hook and pull up a loop. Now in the next two spaces, so that means right here and right here, you're going to place a Tunisian full stitch. So simply insert your hook between the stitches and pull up a loop. Now it's going to look like this. So we have the Tunisian simple stitch and a full stitch in the next two spaces. Now you're going to repeat that. So in the next stitch right here, you're going to do a Tunisian simple stitch and in the next two spaces, the Tunisian full stitch. Now you're going to repeat that until the end of the row and you're going to finish it up with a regular uh, border stitch right here. Now the return pass is slightly different. You're now going to have more loops on your hook than you had before, which is why the return pass is different. So you're now going to yarn over and pull through one on the very first one. And the next, the next one you're going to go through three. So that means yarn over and pull through three stitches. And then next one you're going to do yarn over and pull through two stitches. And now repeat what you just did. So yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through two, and then one more time through two to finish up the border. That is your very first row. So now you're going to repeat this process over and over again. So start with the Tunisian simple stitch. And in the next two spaces, and that is here where that little triangle is, it's before and after. Okay, so I'm going to spread it a little bit so you can see it. So in front of and behind that little triangle that you see. Okay, so right here is one and two full stitches okay so in front of and behind that little tiny triangle now you're going to repeat that so tunisian simple stitch and the full stitches go in front of and behind that little tiny triangle so now you're going to repeat that until the end of the row tunisian simple stitch and two tunisian full stitches don't forget your border stitch at the very end and now do the return pass as we did before. So yarn over, pull through one. And now yarn over, pull through three. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through three. Two. Three. Two. Three. And then two and two. And now you're going to just keep going and crocheting this beautiful stitch. It's every time the same forward path and the same return path. Once you're finished, you can simply insert your hook into each space and create a slip stitch. And that's all there is to it in order to crochet this, this beautiful Saloniki ripped Tunisian crochet stitch. I would love to know what you're going to use the stitch for, so please leave me a comment down below and let me know. If you need the written tutorial with the pictures for each step, please check out the link down below in the description. Be sure to like, comment and share this video and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the bell to get a notification next time I'm publishing a video or go live. Now go ahead and watch the next video. You're gonna want to, I promise you do.